This is Ashton Marcus, and I'm on location at Chance Theatre for the Orange County premiere of Seminar. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with... Ned Liebel. Um, I'm originally from Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, I've been out, uh, lived in New York for a while and been out in L.A. for over 15 years. I uh, can't remember exactly how many. Um, I'm an actor in stage, television, and film. And uh, I play the character of Leonard. Leonard is a, um, he's, has an obsession with the truth. He's, and he's a very talented writer. And um, his obsession with the truth has both gave him brilliance and at the same time tragedy. He, uh, it, I don't want, without telling the whole story, it, um, he found some, he was, he's a very talented writer, but he also has a hard time managing in the world because he, he, he has no, um, censor. And he just basically, in his obsession with the truth, he, he steps on his, he puts his foot in his mouth. And he burned his bridges. He got into trouble um, in his incipient career and uh, basically got shut out of the business. Got to drinking, got, you know, just spiraled. And uh, it, it shattered him. And he kind of popped, propped himself up and started editing and teaching and became a, very effective. But at the same time, he tells the truth to all his students, which is really brutal. But effective. So, um, so yeah. So he has this obsession with the truth, which is a double-edged sword. It's good. It's also it can be tragic. I love this piece. I thought it was fantastic, and I loved your acting. I thought you were great. Wow. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, the space is a dream to act in. It's like it's almost like film because you have three sides. It's a thrust great stage, so you have uh, three sides are, are watching, and so so you don't have to play for one for one face of the, uh, of the, uh, the stage. And at the same time, I think they can experience in a, in a great way because they they can see your backs and they can they can see your sides, and it's a lot like film and it's in a way I think when I watch actors when the, when I see maybe their backside or just their, their their profile instead of their face it lets your imagination kind of go and imagine okay what are they feeling and you feel like you're you're literally in someone's house so it's good for us because it's intimate and I think it's good for the audience as well as an actor, I know you guys take a lot of classes. You take a lot of <laughs> seminars. You take a lot oh, of yeah. this stuff. Now, I'm not sure if you take it just for connections, right? But is it that you just put a boundaries yourself? Like, I'll do everything except for this. And then some great teacher comes by and says, you know, the only thing that's stopping you is that boundary. You mean a, a personal boundary? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, acting is particularly, I mean, I can relate this to acting. It, it's like, it's like, I mean, in a way, it's like, therapy you know you have someone who you trust that tells you okay this is where you're strong and this is where you're not strong and you need to work on this part of yourself which is usually some sort of um, a block you have an emotional block or a mental block that is, a, is making your instrument not 100% free and and yeah that's uh, it's very personal and it's very vulnerable and I've taken way too many of those classes. <laughs> yeah. Well, once again, I really loved your performance. I thought you were fantastic. And I love the show, too. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's a great show. And um, hopefully um, the people will listen to this and the word will get out because we're only here for, I think, three weeks. And it's just a fabulous take on this amazing story. It's, I think it's a really great new take. The director, Alina DeSantos, did an amazing job. The cast is so talented. I'm so grateful to be with all these people. And it's it's a really a special chance to see this play in in a different a different um, style than I think uh, most people are used to something that that really kind of sheds a light on on more of the tragic end of the whole story as well. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, once well, again, really loved you in this play. Thank you very much for being on the show. My pleasure. Thanks so much. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with. Casey Long. I've uh, been working with the Chance Theater since 1999. I'm a professional actor, director, sound designer, and I also I serve on the staff here at the Chance. I played Martin. Uh, Martin is uh, someone who has some potential and is a little frightened of finding out whether or not his potential is like actually go going to live up to what he hopes it will be. Uh, that Martin is in this class, he feels like he is the low man on the totem pole, there are people with connections, people with money, he is not 
he does not have either, and so he's a little afraid of where the show is, where the uh, class is going, and it really is relying a lot on his friend Kate, who is one who encouraged him to join. Well, first of all, I love the performance, and your your character was actually very dear to me, actually. Oh, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. He's very dear to me, too. Because I actually look, to, my take on it is that he actually connects with uh, the art, the, the art of writing itself. It, he doesn't look at it as just writing. He looks at something given to him by the muse or something, in which it's like, he doesn't know where it comes from. It just comes out of him. He's, either ex he's obviously extremely talented, but also he has a tremendous spiritual respect for the art. Yeah, I would say Martin is definitely a purist when it comes to writing, is that he believes you do it because there is something inside you that needs to be let out, and that it is a timeless and reverential act to construct a universe out of language. Uh, and that, sure, there could be commercial, you know, uh, <laughs> commercial ramifications to maybe give you some money, but the real reason to do it is because you have something to express and you have something that needs to be let out of your soul. And so I think then that's one thing that also sort of sets him apart from the other students in the class is that he really believes in the power and the purity of writing. If my viewers decide to come back and see this piece, uh, what should they expect to see? Uh, if they come to see this piece, I think that they're going to see a show that is uh, it's funny, but in a way that's very caustic and intellectual. Uh, it's going to be a very uh, intimate character study of five people, the four students and the instructor. And I think that it's a show that's going to surprise them in ways that they're not going to expect and that it's going to be a revealing show that's about people who are putting it on the line and trying to find their way. And hopefully they're all going to get there. I also feel that if, obviously every, every show the audience should identify with some of the characters or some of the themes and all that. If you identify with any of the characters here and you are challenged by it, it will open up some to you. You put a barrier stopping you from doing something, maybe writing a great novel, or maybe just going out there and asking a girl out for a date. Mm -hmm. You put that barrier up there, that's your fault. And I don't know what your definition of a loser is, but if you don't tear down that barrier, you're a loser, and that's what, uh, that's what the seminar would tell you. I think that the seminar is going to focus on the truth of what is going on with everybody who's in the seminar, and whether or not you need to be like have your face slapped so you can wake up, or you're going to have just a nudge in the right direction. It's going to be dependent on who you are. And so whether or not you're in a position in your life where you need a nudge or a shove, I think that this show will sort of show you like which direction you should be going and that it's also going to be a show that sort of really accentuates the power of truth and that you need to face it and you need to like live up to it yeah once again i really love the performance <laughs> thank you very much for being on the show thank you very much hi my name is ashton marcus i'm with kuci 88.9 fm in irvine and i'm here with Karen Jean Olds. I grew up in um, Butte, Montana. I'm actually from a little copper mining town in Butte, Montana. Um, and uh, I went to um, undergrad at University of Montana in Missoula, Montana after that. And then I came on out to California to go to UCI, actually, and I uh, got my MFA there. And um, now I'm out running around Los Angeles and, and uh, in the world. I was Kate today. She is in a situation where she is able to um, fund a very expensive seminar and um, she has an opportunity to sort of be shaken up as it were. Uh, she's been working on the same piece for for many many years and um, she's looking to to Leonard to kind of move it to the next level though she has no idea what she's what she's actually in for without giving too much of that away. <laughs> What do you think is stopping her from moving forward? What kind of boundary is she putting? Is it, is it fear? Is it like just um, laziness? Or is it just something that she really doesn't care as much about? Actually, I think for Kate, it was more um, comfort. And she got in a cycle of rewriting, and it actually started to harm her work. Um, she, she'd been chipping away at this Jane Austen piece for, for a really long time and, uh, and just kept getting the same feedback, which was that it's really good, but it just needs more work, which then she kind of overworked it. And um, she was so obsessed about it, she, she needed someone to, to basically tell her to let it go and write from where you are now instead of trying to generate from the outside. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, I loved your performance. I thought you were fantastic. You, you guys, were, yours in particular, I thought you guys remind me of real writers. Oh, thank you so much. It was so nice having you here, and thank you so much for, for your continual support. <laughs> Quick question. If my viewers decide to come by and, and see this uh, piece, what should they expect to see? Um, I think they should expect to see... Uh, Teresa Rebeck's writing is, is very witty and very intelligent, and um, there's a lot of uh, conflict within the piece, b right between the performers, but it is uh, very funny also, and very fun, and it's a real wide, wild ride, you know, it's set in the thrust, so uh, hopefully it's very engaging. It seems to be that people are very happy, and uh, we're just really excited to be working on Teresa's work at this level, so I hope, that, I hope they will en enjoy it and at least be stimulated to maybe ask themselves what they need to, to work on for, for themselves and how they can push themselves further. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, I really liked your performance. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. I'm here with... Christian Telesmar. I'm originally from the Northwest, moved out here two years ago after graduating from University of Washington with my master's in acting and been doing film and television and now jumping to theater with Chance. I play Douglas. Douglas is uh, he's one of those guys who, who've grown up um, with a spoon or two, silver spoon or two in his mouth. Um, and so he's never really had true crit critique. He's grown up in a family that has a big name, a big family name. And so he's been accepted to all the colonies, all the writers' colonies, and has always been um, spoon fed in the ways of getting critiques. So he's never really actually gotten any genuine, honest feedback. And so this is the first time he's ever gotten that through the seminar. Well, first of all, I loved you guys' performance, and I actually liked your performance also. Oh, thank you very much. I thank you very much. Douglas was a, a, a treat because he's such a, he's almost so in his own world that it's hard to stay present in, in an audience because you're like, okay, I'm in my character, and I'm thinking about what do I feel, what do I enjoy, because he's so self-absorbed that it's, it's, a, it's an interesting, it's an interesting um, character to try to jump into. Yeah. Yeah, this was obviously about writers, written by writers, so the words are probably extremely important. Every single syllable is probably important. Oh man, every single word is important, every single syllable is important. Teresa has so many uh, places where there's stutters, and you would think it was a typo, but looking at the original manuscripts and the rehearsal scripts they had for the Broadway show, they were all in there. And so she intended for all this to be there because there's a certain rhythm she has for each character. And if you miss one or two words, you miss that rhythm of that character and, and can completely miss the intention of that character too. How is that as an actor? Because as an actor, you have to pay attention to the audience. If they're falling asleep, you get more, more intense. <laughs> you, have to, you, know, you have to cater every single performance to the audience. How, how, how do you do that when every syllable has to be said a certain way? Oh, man. Um, you know... One thing I do that I, that I enjoy about having an audience and trying to stay present with the audience is listening to what they're listening to, what they're reacting to. Every audience is different. Some like the physical comedy of stuff. Some like the, the, the intellectual comedy, the word plays. And so you can kind of get a hint after the first few scenes of what this audience likes. And then you can kind of play into that and really go off their rhythm too. So it's really fun to do that. I also like to comment you on your comical timing because of every word is basically concrete your timing has to be very good because it was it was actually a very funny play oh thank you very much yeah I mean that's, in, that's all in Teresa's rhythm like if you stay on that rhythm and you make sure you get all those words you, she will guide you straight to the laugh you just have to trust her okay. once again I really love the performance I love your performance in particular thank you very much for being on the show well thank you I appreciate it hi my name is Ashton Marcus I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine I'm here with Asia Lani Holman I am a LA-based actress that is currently studying theater at Cal State Long Beach uh, and um, on, the, on the performance track. I am also in the entertainment department at Disneyland. Today I played Izzy. There is so much more to Izzy than what you might um, see on the surface and what you might see from just viewing the play one time. Izzy is, is really a lot more smart and talented than people might think. It's easy to, to blow her off as, as someone who's sleeping her way to the top, but she's actually very smart. She knows exactly what she needs to do to get what she wants. And, and she's talented enough to have made it into this seminar. So um, I think she's really smart. Yeah, well, I loved your performance. I thought you were fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. That's wonderful to hear. Yeah. So if my viewers decide to come by and see this piece, uh, what should, should they expect to see? Well, it, it is a comedy, so it's a really fun time, really fun um, chance to get out and see some theater, but it's also a, so much more than a comedy. It's, it's based on, 
on real three-dimensional characters who are struggling with with their passion and their career and moving towards what they want in life and um, and and their struggle to do that it's it's very it's very real even though it's a comedy see as you're a student uh, what kind of what would be your ideal teacher do you want a teacher who supports you and say okay you're doing fine you're fantastic just give a little more effort or you want someone to say hey the reason you're doing this is because you're putting up a boundary if you don't put this down you're never gonna be anything you're gonna be a terrible actor what do you think about that what, what should be better for you well, in my experience, the teachers who are more difficult on me have definitely pushed me to be a better actress and a better, uh, or, you know, in different classes, a better student or just a better human. And it really is helpful having someone maybe not as harsh as Leonard, which if you do come see the show, it, <laughs> you'll see he is pretty harsh. But... Um, but it is m so much better instead of having a teacher who will tell you, oh, okay, you're doing great, honey, and, and you just won't grow as an artist. It's so much better to have someone push you to your full potential. Okay. Once again, I really love the performance. Thank you very much for being on the show. No, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. I'm so glad to hear that you enjoyed it. Seminar will be playing at Chance Theater from September 23rd to October 23rd. For more information, go to www.chancetheater.com.